we are now approaching the period of time, and it's probably already entered that period of time, known as the three weeks, or in the language of Eicho, and the way it's used in many rabbinic words, Bein HaMetzorim, between the boundaries, between Shiva, Osava, Tammuz, and Tishavu. It's the saddest period of the Jewish year. However, a question may be asked, uh, where, and we're commemorating the destruction mainly of both the Bote Migdish, both the base of Migdish of Isha, the first base of Migdish, and the second base of Migdish, separated by hundreds of years from one another. So a question could be asked, after all, in the Shulchan Aruch, in the very beginning of the Shulchan Aruch, of the Code of Law of Yosef Cairo, in the third uh, paragraph it says it's appropriate. The language is royal of all of them. Everybody should be doyeg umetsa. He should be concerned and be in anguish about the churban of the destruction of the Beis Amigdash, which is something that's supposed to be done every day of the year. So why is this period different? So the, actually it's a question the way it is remarked, although we're supposed to have this dog or this concern about the destruction of, that, of the holy temples, nevertheless, uh, it's a matter of intensity. It does not take away from our involvement all year round and being joyful at, at many occasions, even the joy of every day of davening, of worship, of uh, communicating with Hashem in the mode of prayer or tefillah. So these three weeks are the three weeks of intensity, but we always have to be concerned what was lost, what did we lose in the Churban Beis Amigdah destruction. And it is a spiritual dimension which really we are not capable of understanding. It was a high uh, dimension of spirituality at the center of Yerushalayim, in the center of the Jewish people with the worship and the avoda and the service devoted to Hashem in a prescribed manner and the presence of the Shechina, the holy presence of Hashem, was present at that particular place known today as the Temple Mount and the Beis Amigdash. So this is something that we should keep in mind that if we think in any community they have reached high spiritual degrees, we should also keep in mind we have a great task in front of us. It's an idealistic mission to come to a ideal of reaching a spirituality, a way of life that is in consonance with the time of the Holy Temple, the Beis Hamikdash. So let us hope and pray that during these three weeks we have a great deal of spiritual introspection, examination to understand what that destruction was, what maybe the causes were, and try to build our lives to a better, more spiritual life so that ultimately we can reach the time of ultimate redemption of Gula Shlema, Ben Heir Amen.